What's going on guys, Unknown Player here and today I've got for you guys a quick video talking about the possibility of the Black Hat PDA returning in Black Ops 3 multiplayer. I've got some Black Ops 3 gameplay in the background for you guys to watch that you might have seen before. Obviously I'm limited in how much Black Ops 3 gameplay I can show you guys and if you want to see more gameplay there's a ton on this channel right now. So take a look around and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out when I upload more gameplay. I've got some really cool videos coming up very very soon. So in this gameplay and the build I was playing at there was no Black Hat PDA in the build of the game. Out the special grenades there was a concussion, a flashbang an EMP grenade, a smoke screen, which is basically a smoke grenade. And there was also a trophy system and a shock charge as well. So nothing out of the ordinary. At the bottom, there was this one box which was blacked out and it said classified. It was basically locked so you couldn't use it. And it was the seventh box that was specifically there. So there was an item there. There's some kind of grenade there, but we don't know what it is because it was classified. And it was definitely an item. It wasn't just like an empty kind of space at the bottom. There was this one item, but it was classified at this current point. And it was blacked out so you couldn't see what it was either. Couldn't see any description or any information about what this grenade was. At the time, it think too much of it but looking back I'm fairly sure it was the Black Hat PDA or more likely a version of it and it probably is a different updated name for Black Ops 3 but I'm very sure that was the Black Hat PDA or some sort of hacking device which you can use in Black Ops 3 and I hope that it does work very similar to how it did in Black Ops 2 and some of you may be wondering why isn't it a tactical insertion that was also missing from the list of special grenades and that was in Black Ops 2 it could also be a tactical insertion well someone actually asked David Von Hart on Twitter of course works for Treyarch and he makes Black Ops 3 and they asked him do you think Black Ops 3 will have a tactical insertion and he said no but don't write that down as fact because it's an early build but essentially he said no he didn't say I don't know or maybe or that they're thinking about it he simply said no so he doesn't think they're going to be in the game and we can pretty much rule out the tactical insertions will not be in Black Ops 3 and won't really make that much sense either it's been missing from Ghost and Advanced Warfare the two most recent Call of Duty games and they're of course they were infected but not properly selectable for multiplayer so I'd expect Trek to follow suit and continue the trend of not having tactical insertions in multiplayer of Call of Duty now something else Von Hard did say on Twitter was about the Black Hat PDA and hacking. Someone asked him, will the Black Hat PDA be returning? And he said that he hadn't answered that yet and they have big plans for hacking and the hacking mechanics are still being worked out. So that's a massive hint that the Black Hat PDA is very likely to return in Black Ops 3 with a hacking mechanic. And it makes sense why it was locked in the menu because like he said, they're still working on it and planning out how they want it to function. So that makes exact sense why it was classified and why it wasn't available to use when I played at E3 because they're still working out the mechanics and how they want it to work. There's a lot of evidence there that the Black Hat PDA will be returning of course there is the empty slot as well now for those of you wondering what the black cat pda is maybe you didn't play black ops 2 or maybe you forgot or can't remember what it does it was basically this brand new thing that was added specifically only to black ops 2 and that was the only game that's had it so far and it was in the special grenade category and it was a really really cool thing to have i honestly thought it was such a cool addition it wasn't lethal to players but you could hack enemy mines or explosives that were lying around if you combine it with the engineer perk to see enemy equipment through walls you can see a c4 or something through walls and you can hack it and not only will it no longer be a threat to you but it will also become yours and you now have a c4 or claymore lying on the ground so you can basically turn enemy devices into yours you can also take down school streets with it so it would act just like a rocket would it would set off their flares no idea why helicopters would drop flares when they're being hacked but it would do that and it would basically be like a stinger missile in your special grenade slot so you could rock those in addition to a stinger and have like four rockets to be able to take down a lot of stuff and that was really useful too if the enemy was calling a ton of kill streaks and also like things like sentry guns and turrets you could hack them and make them fight for your side another cool thing was that with care packages as well you could access them from like across the map you could take an enemy care package that you're really far away from and you don't even need to be near it you don't need to go right up to them you could literally take it from right under their nose and they probably wouldn't even know what just happened and not only that you could also get their care package and it would turn into a booby trap for them so you get the care package and what's inside and then when they try and take it they will get killed and you'll get an extra kill for the booby trap crate so that was a cool feature and something i like to use it for was to take my own care packages from safety so i could like uh, place the care package somewhere and maybe sit in a building to take it it's always been a very common thing to get your care package stolen from you since they pretty much introduced it back in modern warfare 2 and it's always been that risk factor to add a little bit of a challenge and if someone was born near you or see the care package flying into the map it was pretty easy to get killed and get your package stolen because of course you have to place it out in the open for it to land safely and you have to stand in the open to get it and instead of running all the way up to it and holding that button and probably getting killed on the way you can just take it from a distance with a black hat pda and uh, sometimes i'd deliberately put it on roofs just so i was the only one that could get it with a pda from safety and pretty much no one else would really run the thing but i really really like the pda and for that purpose i enjoyed using it because you can get your care package safely and you can also mess with other people's and like booby trap them very easily so i really really like the pda let me know your thoughts in the comment section what you think of it if you used it maybe you never used it maybe now you'd like to try it but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video just a thought that i had when i noticed there was a locked slot and i was wondering what it could be and then i remembered what von Haar said about how he wants to introduce hacking and the pda could possibly be returning but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video give it a like rating if you did and you found it informative and subscribe for more black ops 3 videos right here on this channel but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys at the next one.